The target annotation is used to specify where the annotation can be used in the source code. We apply this annotation to annotations. So here are the possible values. We have element type type. Now this means the annotation can be applied to any class, interface, or enum declaration. We have field, which means it can be applied to any field declaration. We have method, parameter, constructor, looker variable, annotation type. You know, this means it can be applied to any annotation declaration. We have package, we have type parameter. So it can be applied to parameter declarations, type parameter declarations. And we have type use. We will treat this later. But generally, this means that the annotation can be applied to any type use. Now, our range annotation doesn't have a target, so it can be applied anywhere. However, if we set it to target only type, which will include classes, interfaces, and enumeration, we will see an error because we applied the annotation to a field and our target statement doesn't support that. So, as Java is a beautiful language, it allows us to include multiple targets as an array of values. So, we can also include the field target. And when we do that, it clears the error. 